This is Rochelle Jones sent from PBMS Scott Hug News. As we celebrate Women's History Month, it's an opportune time to reflect on remarkable contributions of women throughout history. From pioneering scientists to groundbreaking activists, their achievements have shaped our world and continue to inspire future generations. Join us as trailblazers and honor their enduring legacy. During Women's Month, we commemorate the indomitable spirit of women who have significantly impacted the diverse fields breaking barriers and shaping the course of history. From influential leaders and innovators to unsung heroes, their, cheer, their achievements resonate across generations. It's a time to focus on enduring legs of women who defy social societal norms, culture to advancement in science, literature, politics, and more. As we celebrate their triumphs, we also recognize the ongoing journey towards gender equal, in equal, gen equality emphasizing equality, emphasizing the importance of acknowledging and amplifying women's voices in all aspects of life. As Women's History Month concludes, we celebrate women's remarkable achievement and resilience. Let us this moment let us let us this moment let's use this moment to drive ongoing efforts for gender equality, equity and ensure women's contributors are valued every day. Here's to a future where diversity and inclusivity, inclusivity thrive guide, guided by the lessons learned this month. This was Shelter of the Papini and Skyhawk News, Go Skyhawks. Rochelle Johnson from PBMS Skyhawk News, and today I'm going to be interviewing my mother. You can introduce yourself. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Stephanie Johnson. I am the mother of Rochelle Johnson. Pleasure to be here. So I'm going to ask my mom four questions about Women's History Month. What do you like about Women's History Month? What do I like about Women's History Month? First of all, I am a woman. So... Thankfully, we get to be recognized on a certain month, which is supposed to be in March. It is now April, though. Okay? Secondly, Women History Month shows all the highlights of what all females have done to set the pathway for success for other females. What are some women, who are some women that have inspired you? Some women that have inspired me is, number one, me, myself. If I can't inspire myself, nobody else can. So Stephanie Johnson inspired Stephanie Johnson. Two, Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was the first female to be a part of the Army. Now, I want to also tell you, she disguised herself as a man, but she was still a female. Women weren't allowed to be in the military at that time, but thanks to the only woman, they won the war. Harriet Tubman was the person who inspired me the most. So this goes with that question, but how did you feel being in the Army and 
doing what you did. Oh, let me say this too. Maya Angelou was the, uh, the second person. And Maya Angelou quote sticks with me today. And still I rise. To answer your question, I joined the military at the age of 17. I made the worst situation out of my best and still I rise. Now I'm able to provide for my children. They're able to go to college and I don't have to worry about the finances anymore. And still I rise. What are some challenges that women still face today? <laughs> some challenges that women still face today, I can go on and on, but I'm gonna give you one. We are overlooked in the workforce. It always seems to me that male, predominantly male workers get paid more than female workers. Even though we can do the same job, we're always underpaid from our gender. Why is Women's History Month important to you? Women's History Month is important to me because Number one, again, I'm a woman. It also highlights the great selfless service that other women have done. It shows that we are able to work in a workforce and take care of home and still not complain. I think it's just phenomenal. It lets us know and other people know all females aren't weak. Going with this question, do you feel like you are important? Of course. Of course. <laughs> I am very important. <laughs> I come first, second, after God. <laughs> I, yeah. Hey, myself, my self worth, all of the above, I think I'm better than anything else. So, yeah, I feel important. I, I, I deploy. I uh, came back, I had shrapnel, I still came back and served my country, and uh, hey, uh, yeah. Thank you for your answers and your interview. Thank you for letting me interview you. You're welcome. This is Rochelle Johnson from PBMS Skyhawk News signing out.